Hello everyone, it's been a while. Welcome to today's GIS tutorial. This video we will learn how to activate callouts in QGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GIS tips and tutorials. For those who want to take up a complete course from basic to advanced GIS, you can register at WiseGIS by following this link. I'll provide all useful links in the description below. So let's start today's exercise. In GIS, callouts are a way to label and annotate pictures or points of interest on a map. They are used to provide additional information about specific locations, highlight important data, or make maps more informative and visually appealing. Callouts in GIS typically consist of text labels, symbols, or other graphical elements that are placed near or directly on the features they refer to. So let's go to QGIS and look at today's exercise. So in today's lesson, we're going to introduce data from Zimbabwe. So I'm going to bring in the vector layers by going to add layer, add vector layer. Then I'm going to browse for the data Zimbabwe. I want this kind of data, the province data with population. This is data that I've actually created for this exercise. And I'm going to add this data in QGIS close. And you can see we have this data well placed into QGIS. So you can do your symbology. So for example, let me just open the attribute table, be able to see what kind of information this data contains. So I'm going to open the attribute table and you can see we have some cases here of some certain uh, dummy data, ailment. Then we have the population density of these provinces. You can see there are provinces in Zimbabwe. There is Bulawayo, there's Harare, and so on and so forth. So we want to get the population density map of 2022. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to style this data first. In whatever symbol, I'm going to actually create a corporate map out of this. So I'm going to use the population density for 2022. So I'm going to right click on the layer, go to properties. Then I'm going to go to symbology. Then instead of a single symbol, I'm going to say graduated symbology. And then the value that I'm going to be graduating is going to be population density for 2022. And I'm going to just uh, change these to reds. I like using the reds for population density. So the lower values will represent will be the lighter color and the higher values will be represented by this dark shade of the color. So I'm going to click on uh, classify and I'm going to leave it to be equal count quantile. Click on classify and you can now see we have a very nice ramp here with us for five classes. This is actually not the uh, essence of a class today. The, the class today is going to be about creating callouts for this uh, map. So the next thing I want to do is I want to introduce callouts and the only way to introduce callouts is first I'm going to label these features the way I want. So to label these features I'm going to click on the layer, go to properties again or double click for those who are experts, then I'm going to go to label. Then I want to label them using a single label. Then I'm going to be using the name as the value, but I just also want to in include the percentage of the population of uh, in, in this, uh, in this uh, formula. So I'm going to come here, click on this uh, expression calculator. Then I'm going to, we have already selected the name as one of the variables that is going to be labeled. So I'm going to come down here and concatenate. Then on a new line, I want to also concatenate again so that I can now have some other variable in that new line. So I'm going to come here, go to fields and values. Then my main interest is to have the percentage population for 2022. I've already computed that in my field. So I'm going to click on this. I'll click on this to add it in the formula. And you can actually see it is having a small preview down here. I want to do some little bit of adjustments to this. So I'm going to uh, add the, 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 word, the, the symbol of percentage here. So to be able to add that, I'm also going to come and say concatenate. Then I'm going to put single quotes. Then after this, in, in between the single quotes, I'm going to be putting percentage sign. So I'm going to put the percentage sign here, fifth percent. Now you can see from my preview here, we have Bulawayo, which is 6.32%. You can even have it have a little bit of a space there. Very good. So now 
The next thing we want to do is we want to apply this to our map. So I'm going to click on uh, OK, then I'm going to click on Apply. So you can actually see now we have actually labeled our, our provinces using the name of the province and also the percentage here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to increase the font a bit. So I'm going to, I want to improve on this font. So I'm going to click on the text. I can change it to maybe say, I like using this for, for class purposes, Kandara. Kandara font. So I'm going to have the Kandara font. font. Then I'm going to make it bold. And I'm also going to be applying a buffer around this. So I'm going to apply a white buffer so that my labels are very clear. So now I have all my labels for the different uh, uh, provinces in uh, Zimbabwe and the percentage of the population. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to be able to move these labels outside, outside the map so that I can create my callouts. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, properties, right click, go to properties. Then I'm going to go to the label still. And under the labels now, I'm going to activate the callouts. So you click on the callouts to, to and then you select um, draw callouts. And there are four types of callouts that you can actually use in, G, in QGIS. There is a simple line, there is the Manhattan line, there is a curved line, and there is the balloon. So depending on your preference, you're going to be just selecting some of these callouts and just looking at how we can also edit them. There are also some settings here that you're going to be looking at very keenly so that you can be, be able to comfortably create your very nice callouts. So for, for now, I'm just going to activate and I'm going to be using the simple line. I'm going to click on apply and OK, and nothing happens. So to be able to now use these callouts effectively, you need to come to the tool, to the toolbar, and you look for the label toolbar. So this is the label toolbar. If you don't have it here activated, you can just right click on the blank side of QGIS and make sure you, you check the label toolbar. Some of the QGIS comes by default uh, checked. So if, you, if yours is having this checked, then we're not good. So we're going to go to the label toolbar. But you can see we have very many options. The first option is a layer labeling option. Then the next one is the layer diagram option. And then there is a third option, which is the highlight pin labels or diagrams. The fourth one is uh, show and place labels. So if you want to see and place labels, you can be able to do this. Uh, the, the, the fifth one is uh, unpin, uh, unpin, pin and unpin labels or diagrams. But we are interested in now moving the labels outside our map. So I'm going to select uh, this uh, last option here, which is move a label or diagram or a callout. Click on that. Come and select uh, the first uh, uh, label here. Click on it. It will now give you an option of creating auxiliary storage. So what you need to just do, select the administrative name and click on OK. So then now I, when I click on it and move it outside the map, it will move and you can see a very nice line drawn. You can even edit this line depending on how or where you want it to be. But let me just do that for the other labels. So I'm going to select the second one, move it out, move it down a bit. Because there's a Harare here, I want to move Harare here. Then this uh, label, I put it somewhere here. So these are what we call callouts in your map. Move this one here. Then move uh, this one on the other side. Lawayo, bring it here. Then uh, this one, put it maybe somewhere here. Then this one, so put it here. Then we are remaining with one here. I'm going to just select one and put it somewhere. So these are actually our callouts. And you can move them a bit to just align them, give some of them some spaces, a bit of spaces, so that your map looks very nice. Yeah, so the next thing we're going to do now, this is just the simple lines. So we need to look at the options that we have. I'm going to go back here, right click, go to properties. Then I'm going to just move this aside a bit, try to resize this so that you can be able to see whatever we are doing. So our main focus is now here. We want to see the other styles. So under callouts again, you can change it to maybe Manhattan lines and see how that works. So for Manhattan lines, I'm going to select that, click on apply. And these are the Manhattan lines. 
they look very nice also. It's a very nice way of also representing your data. I'm just going to scroll to show you how the Manhattan lines look like. Then there is another option here again of curved lines. So if you also want to see curved lines, you can just select this one here, click on apply. You can now see even the curved lines even look more awesome. So it's up to you to decide what kind of uh, callouts you want. And let's look at the last option that we have, the table. So I'm going to select this and we have an option called balloons. So let's select and see how it looks like. So by default, the fill color of the balloons is going to be yellow. You can change that depending on your theme of your map and so on and so forth. For now, I'm not going to do anything about it. I just click on apply. And this is how the balloons look like. So if you like whatever you see, you can even change the style here. You can change the width. You can do so many other things with your balloon. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to be creating a map just having these callouts. So I'm going to just click on apply and OK. Then we're going to go to the map composer side. So I'm going to come to the project. Then I'm going to create a new print layout. Then I'm going to call this one callouts. Callouts map. Then click on OK. And I'm going to leave it to have the default A4 size paper. So the A4 size paper is okay for me. I'm going to give this map a very nice title. So I'm going to then I'm going to add my map. So I'm going to add items. Add map. Then I'm going to be adding my map with the callouts here. And have our map here. So you can click on the item content or change the scale here. Once your map is done, you can actually come click layouts, export it as an image, and save it in the location you want to save it. Maybe I'll save it this folder here. Save. Put it at 900 dpi's if you want to have a high quality print. And your map ready. So you can open your map, put it in your report. You can see these are very nice, as very nice callouts. So uh, that is how we create callouts uh, QGIS. That's it for today's exercise. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more JS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video.